Hello, today we're working with rational functions, and if you're going to graph a rational function, one of the most important pieces you want to know are probably where the intercepts are. That's the x and y intercept. And there may be a few, uh, and we'll probably have to pick this thing apart in order to figure out where they might be. One of the great things that you probably want to do at the very start is to take this rational function and factor the top and bottom, if at all possible. So with this one, I can see that the top I can factor out an x. I'll give me an x times an x plus 6. Let's see, it looks like the bottom, I can factor out an x out of that. 3x squared minus 17x minus 6. And it uh, looks like that factor is even a little bit more. So I get x x minus 6, 3x plus 1. Perfect. All right. So one of the first things we might want are the y-intercepts. Now to find a y-intercept, you're basically going to take something like the original and set x equal to 0. So imagine just plugging in a 0 for all those x's. So 0 squared plus 6 times 0 all over 3 times 0 cubed minus 17 0 squared minus 6 times 0. Now with all those zeros floating around, it looks like this simplifies to 0 over 0. Now, we can't divide by 0. That's a problem which means there is no y-intercept. It doesn't cross it. Well, let's see if we can find the x-intercept. This works by setting y equal to 0. So maybe take the factored one, imagine a y right there, and set that equal to 0. Now, essentially, we want to know when will the top equal 0. Well, the top will equal to 0 when x is equal to 0, or x equals a negative 6. But as we've seen, we, we've had problems when x is equal to 0. That causes us to divide. So let's get rid of that one. So we can call our x-intercept negative 6. 0. If you'd like to see some more math videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.